Hey everyone, we're going to solve each equation. We have four examples. We're going to get complex solutions. That means with the I's here. All right, so we'll get started with the first one. And basically, we're going to take n squared plus 25 equals 0. You subtract 25 from both sides to get n squared equals negative 25. And you square root both uh, sides. You always put plus and minus here. <clears throat> so you get n equals plus minus square root of negative 25. Now we're going to write this as n equals plus minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 25. And the square root of 25 is just 5. So you get n equals plus or minus 5 and the square root of negative 1 is I. So that would be your answer for the first one. The second one's very similar. So, so we have m squared plus 10 equals 0. So you have m squared equals negative 10. Don't forget when you take the square root of both sides, you have to put plus and minus because it could be plus and minus. So if you had n squared equals 64, we know that 8 squared equals 64, but so does negative 8 squared equals 64. That's why you're putting the plus and minus. All right, so we get m equals plus or minus square root of negative 10. This can be written as m equals plus or minus square root of negative 1 times square root of 10. That means m equals... Um, this is i plus or minus i square root of 10. You always want to put i in front of the radical. Don't want to put it at the end because sometimes it looks like it's under the radical. So especially when we're trying to write real fast sometimes. Okay, let's do the next two. Okay, so for the next one, we have 6y squared plus 42 equals 0. So, you're just like solving for y, get negative 42, divide both sides by 6. So, now we have y squared equals negative 7. Again, you take the square root of both sides, make sure you do plus and minus. So, y equals plus and minus. Let's break this out as square root of negative 1 times the square root of 7. The square root of negative 1 is just i. So you get y equals plus or minus i, square root of 7. And the, the last one's similar. Let's see what we have here. 4r squared plus 64 equals 0. Subtract the 64 from both sides. Divide both sides by 4. And that gives you 16. All right, you square root both sides, do the plus and minus. So r equals plus or minus, and let's break this up, square root of negative 1, square root of 16. Now in this case, we can take a complete square root of 16 is 4, and you put the i after it. The i usually goes if you have in front of a radical, but if you have a constant, you put it after the constant. So that's just by convention. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.